So in the previous video, we talked about the process of glycolysis. And at the end of glycolysis, the glucose has been broken down into two pyruvate molecules. And you also get two reduced NAD and four ATP molecules in the process. Uh, but the breakdown of the organic molecules is not done. So the next reaction after glycolysis has to be the link reaction. And for the link reaction to happen, the pyruvate molecule will first have to enter the matrix of the mitochondrion because that is the location of the link reaction, as I'm showing you in this particular diagram. Uh, you don't have to know this in detail, but the pyruvate molecule is actively transported into the mitochondrial matrix. And of course, by entering the matrix, it will then be able to take part in the link reaction. So what exactly is link reaction all about? The good news is the link reaction only has three steps. Decarboxylation, oxidation, also known as dehydrogenation in this case, and the addition of something called coenzyme A. Now, let's talk about it. So remember, at the end of uh, glycolysis, you get two pyruvate molecules. Now, I'm only going to focus on one pyruvate molecule first, which I've highlighted. Now, the pyruvate molecule undergoes decarboxylation. And what exactly does decarboxylation mean? Decarboxylation just means the removal of one carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. So look at the pyruvate molecule. It had three carbons earlier. Now it has only two carbons. Then after that, that two carbon molecule will undergo oxidation or dehydrogenation. Remember, once it removes the hydrogen, the hydrogen doesn't know where to go. So the cell enlists the help of the hydrogen carrier called NAD. And once the NAD receives the hydrogen, what happens to the NAD? You are right, the NAD becomes reduced NADs. Uh, by the way, some students will say, my school teacher mentioned something like NADH2 or NADH or NADH plus H instead of the word reduced NAD. For the purpose of A-levels, you can just use the word reduced NAD and you are fine. So don't worry so much about that. And look at the uh, two carbon molecule. You are still left with the two carbon molecule called the acetyl group. It's good to remember the name of the acetyl group. Now, the problem with that acetyl group is it needs to go into the next reaction, which is called the Krebs cycle. But it needs to be carried or transported into the Krebs cycle. And to be transported into the Krebs cycle, you need to add it to something called coenzyme A. Now, some students will ask me the question, what exactly is a coenzyme? A coenzyme is not an enzyme, technically, even though it's in the name. A coenzyme is a molecule required for other enzymes to function. Do you need to memorize the definition? Not exactly. All right. Uh, some students will also ask me, where does this coenzyme come from? It usually, if I'm, if I, oh my God, I'm trying to think about it at the top of my head. If I'm not mistaken, coenzyme A comes from your diet. When you eat a particular type of vitamin called vitamin B5, I think um, your, your body will convert vitamin B5 into coenzyme A. Uh, they, they are not going to ask that, by the way. Don't worry so much about it. So this coenzyme A, which I've represented as a maroon triangle, I think it's maroon, okay? Um, maroon, yeah. So the coenzyme A is needed to carry the acetyl group into the Krebs cycle. How does it do so? The first thing it does is the coenzyme A is attached and it becomes something called acetyl co you must know the name of that molecule too. So the acetyl group cannot enter the Krebs cycle, but the acetyl-CoA is now able to go into the Krebs cycle. That's basically it. Uh, and of course, remember, there were two pyruvate molecules. So two pyruvates will undergo decarboxylation to give you two carbon dioxide molecules. And of course, the undergoes oxidation to give you two reduced NAD and the addition of coenzyme A to give you to acetyl-CoA. So the summary of the process is pyruvate undergoes decarboxylation, undergoes oxidation, and added with coenzyme A to become acetyl-CoA. That's all we have to know for the link reaction.